Hey guys, welcome to day 105. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you yet another political thing. Uh, now I know not a lot of you are too happy about these videos just because, I don't know, I guess you prefer more entertaining content, but since you're subscribed to me I'm assuming you like to hear what I have to say about things, so let's get this rolling. Right. So. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about da -da -da -da, pornography. Yes. Uh, now, pornography uh, it has actually been an issue amongst the uh, atheist community as of late. Um, a user by the name of Nuclear Knight and a few others have been uh, sort of acting as this one brand of feminist. Um, and then there's another branch of feminists with Peach, or XXX, XXX, the Peach XXX, uh, oh my gosh, it's Chris, uh, Healthy Addict, uh, Ghost of Day in person, a few other people. <coughs> and so, um, basically, what's going on is that a lot of these hardcore feminists are calling for the ban of pornography. Now, uh, their reasoning behind this is kind of flawed, uh, and I'll go into why right in, in a second. Basically, uh, they feel that pornography and prostitution, something I've already talked about, are jobs that objectify women. Now, I can understand where they're coming from, but at the same time, banning both of these things, porn and prostitution, isn't really going to help much. You see, as long as there is a market for this, and there is someone who's willing to produce it, there will always be a buyer. And so by creating a ban, all you're going to do is move it to the black market. Instead, the intelligent alternative would be to create more regulation, and to create a safer work environment. Uh, and so, in actuality, uh, I, I think that obviously both should be allowed, uh, even though I don't watch the whole straight porn thing. Um, I, I still think that, you know, it, it should be allowed. I mean, who are we to dictate what women can or cannot do with their bodies? The issue keeps coming up with women's rights, whether it's uh, prostitution, abortion, and now pornography. Um, Honestly, any types of bans or prohibition of these types of things are, in actuality, threatening to women's rights, not supporting. So unless you really want women to go back into that role as a second-class citizen, allow women to do what they want with their bodies, don't prohibit them. And personally, I don't think it, pornography would just objectifies women. It objectifies men as well. And not to mention, men are under much more stress than women. Men have to maintain an erection longer, they have to ejaculate on demand. It can't be that easy. But logistics aside, quite frankly, we shouldn't allow people to dictate what others can do or cannot do with their bodies. Instead, we should just create regulations that provide a safer environment for these interactions take place. And that's really all I have to say on the matter. So, if you have a comment about this whole issue, leave it below. Uh, question of today, uh, how do you feel about pornography? Do you think it's objectifying of women or men? Or do you think that it's part of, and it promotes healthy sexual growth? Personally, I don't see many issues with it, but then again, our movie rating system seems to hate sexuality, but it loves violence, which I think are totally messed up values. I think it should be the complete opposite. I think we should glorify sexuality because it promotes more education, and with that, we could stop the spread of STDs, decrease the rate of teenage pregnancy, and make sure everyone has a great time and is, there isn't this awful stigma associated with sex. Um, but instead, we're okay with violence, and we wonder why issues like Columbine and other situations like that happen. Now, I'm not blaming Columbine on just violence. 
Of course, the kids themselves had issues too, and that will always be an issue as well. But as a whole, I think if we were to tone down the amount of acceptable violence in society, not as many violent thoughts would occur, and we would no longer be desensitized to uh, things like blood and shootings and stuff like that. I think that we would still start to pay more attention to them. But uh, that's all I have to say for that. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.